Uh, excuse me, is this chair taken? Excuse me? Is this taken? No, but I'm expecting somebody in a minute. Oh, thanks anyway. Sure thing. Excuse me? Is this chair taken? No, but I'm expecting somebody very shortly. Would you mind if I sit here, you know, till he or she or it comes? They do seem to be pretty late. You never know who you might be turning down though. Sorry, nice try though. Eh, sure thing. Uh, is this seat taken? No, it's not. Do you mind if I sit here? Yes, I would. Oh. Is this seat taken? No, it's not. Would you mind if I sit here? No, go ahead. Thanks. Every place else seems to be taken. Mm-hmm. Great place. Mm-hmm. What's the book? I just wanted to remain quiet if you don't mind. No, sure thing. Every place else seems to be taken. Mm-hmm. Great place for reading. Yes, I like it. What's the book? Sound and Fairy. Oh, Hemingway. What's the book? Sun and Fairy. Oh, Faulkner. Have you read it? <laughs> Not actually. I've sure read about it though. It's supposed to be great. It is great. I hear it's great. Waiter, what's the book? Sun and Fairy. Oh, Faulkner. Have you read it? Yeah, I'm a mess by myself. Have you read it? Yeah, I read in college. Where was college? Oh, Roberts University. Where was college? I was lying. I never really went to college. I just like to party. Where was college? Polly you, of course. Do you like Faulkner? Yeah, I love Faulkner. I've just started. Oh, I was so excited. After 10 pages, I went out and bought everything else I wrote. Like, one of the greatest reading experiences of my life. I mean, all that incredible psychological understanding. Like, page after page of gorgeous prose. His profound grasp of the mystery of time and human existence. The smells of the earth. What do you think? I think it's pretty boring. What's the book? The Sun and Fury. Oh, Faulkner. Do you like Faulkner? I love Faulkner. He's incredible. I spent a whole went to reading him once. I was so excited after 10 pages that I went out and bought everything else he wrote. And all that incredible psychological understanding. And the prose is so gorgeous. And the way he's grasped the mystery of time. And human existence. I can't believe I've waited this long to read him. You might not have liked him before. That's true. You have to take these things at the right moment or it's no good. That's happened to me. It's all in the timing. Hey, my name is Bill, by the way. I'm Betty. Hi. Hi. Yes, I thought reading Faulkner was a great experience. Yes. The sound and the fury? Well, onwards and upwards. Waiter? What can I get for you today? Just a cappuccino, please. And for yourself? Oh, sorry, we're not ordering together. We're from different parties. What can I get for you today? Just a cappuccino, please. And for yourself? Just a hot chocolate for now, please. Right away. Hot chocolate, eh? Give for a more sophisticated lady. I serve with a bad case of sweet tooth, okay? Not the only thing sweet about you though. Hot chocolate, eh? It's embarrassing, I know. No, if anything, I'm just jealous I didn't order myself. Really? Yeah, I suffer with a bad case of sweet tooth. Well, then why didn't you order it? Eh, thought it might make me a little less sophisticated and suave. <laughs> and you're doing such a good job of that anyway. So, what do you do, Bill? When I'm not sent overpriced cafes, you know, regretting my choice in hot beverage order. I'm a writer. Wow, impressive. Nah, no one had writer's block for the last year. Sounds rough. Yeah, it seems never ending. Try to get out and about for some inspiration. You know, coffee shops, museums, galleries, you name it. I just want to be inspired. Find any inspirations as of lately? Here are your orders. Enjoy. Well, cheers. Shit! Fuck! I I'm so sorry! My face down in the trousers! Fuck! I just got this! I I'm, I'm so sorry! And Faulkner? This isn't even mine, it's the library's! Here, uh, uh, let me help! I think you've done enough. Uh, I'm. Card, please. I swore I saw it here earlier somewhere. Got it. Oh no, oh. so sorry. Thanks, it's no fire. Sorry, there's such a big pile. Seems like a large chunk of the aisle on modernism has been loaned out solely to you. Midterms. Faulkner, eh? One of my favorites. Was just gonna have a peruse for his work, actually. I think this might be the last copy of Sun and Fairy, actually. You're right, I did read the Modernism I.O. Thanks again. Oh wait, I didn't catch your name. 
I'm Peter, by the way. Peter, a pleasure. I'm Betty. Oh, my bad. No, you go for it. Oh, really? You sure? Yeah, I actually wanted to go for Sound in the Fury, but it seems to be missing. Probably a blessing, guys. <laughs> Faulkner slander? In a library? Not unanimous Faulkner slander. Just that one book. Not a fan, I take it. It's not that I'm not a fan. I just find it a bit overrated, is all. But it's so similar to As I Lay Dying. The settings, the themes, they pair so perfectly. The first is like the predecessor to it, and the second one is... Uh, I'm rambling, aren't I? <laughs> a little. I admire the enthusiasm, though. Though I must give it something. I admire the title. Of As I Lay Dying? It's chipper, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Practical excuse positivity. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Peter, by the way. I'm Penny. Hi. Hi. Do you come in here a lot? Actually, I'm just in town for two days from Denmark. Oh, Denmark? My name's Peter, by the way. I'm Penny. Hi. Hi. Do you come in here a lot? Yeah, sadly so. Do you? Not so much anymore. Not as much as I used to. Before my nervous breakdown. Do you come in here a lot? Why are you asking? I'm just interested. Are you really interested or you just want to pick me up? No, I'm really interested. Why would you be interested in whether I come in here a lot? Just... getting acquainted. Maybe you're only interested for the sake of making small talk long enough to ask me back to a place to listen to music, or because you've just rented this great tape for a VCR, or because you've got this terrific unknown Django Reinhardt record. Only all you really want to do is fuck, which you won't do very well. After which you'll go into the bathroom and pee very loudly, then pad yourself into the kitchen to get a beer from the refrigerator without asking me whether I'd like anything, and then you proceed to lie back beside me and confess that you've got a girlfriend named Stephanie who's away at medical school in Belgium for a year and that you've been involved with her off and on in what you call a very intricate relationship for about seven years. None of which interests me, mister. Will you please lower your voice? This is library, remember? Got a girlfriend named Stephanie who's away at medical school in Belgium for a year and that you've been involved with her off and on intricate relationship for about seven years. None of which interests me, mister. Okay. Do you come in here a lot? Every other day, I think. I come in here quite a lot, and I don't remember seeing you. I guess we must be on different schedules. Missed connections. Yes, different time zones. Amazing how you can live right next door to somebody in this town and never even know it. I know. City life. It's crazy. We probably pass each other in the street every day, right in front of this place, probably. Yep. But maybe us meeting here right now is meant to be. Like the stars just align and... Shh. Sorry. So what do you... I beg pardon? Nothing. Sorry. I guess we must be on different schedules. Missed connections. Yes, different time zones. Amazing how you can live right next door to somebody in this town and never even know it. I know. City life. It's crazy. You weren't waiting for somebody when I came in, were you? Actually, I was. Oh, boyfriend? Sort of. What's the sort of boyfriend? My husband. <laughs> you weren't waiting for somebody when I came in, were you? Actually, I was. Oh, boyfriend? Sort of. What's a sort of boyfriend? A soon-to-be ex. Alright, in a library? Hardly seems the place. Do you don't think it's the place for flirting? Yet, here we are. Yeah. Benny, what the fuck? Oh, shit, Harry. Who the fuck is this? Wait, Harry. But you don't mean the goddamn library of all places? Look, buddy, you. You weren't waiting for somebody when I came in, were you? Actually, I was. Oh, boyfriend? Sort of. What's a sort of boyfriend? My lover. Here she comes right now. Hi! Oh. You weren't waiting for somebody when I came in, were you? No, just reading. But truth to be told, I must get to class and I'm already a bit late. Nice to see you, um... Huh? It's, it's Peter, but of course I understand. Go, I don't want you missing more of it. Sure thing. See you around. Sorry, I can't seem to find my car. Would you mind if I quickly go back in? I've left an important document. Sure thing, sweetie. Go right ahead. Thank you. Oh no, so sorry. Thanks. It's 
no butter. Sorry, there's such a big pile. Seems like a large chunk of the aisle on modernism has been loaned out solely to you. <laughs> Me terms. Faulkner, eh? I was looking for this one, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, was just looking, but could only find as I lay dying. The worst one, I'd say. Someone who sees sense? Thanks again. Oh, wait. I didn't catch your name. I'm Peter, by the way. Peter? A pleasure. I'm Betty. Nazis, eh? They're just the worst. That T-Rex looks just like my ex, teeth and all. Velcro ability to render the figures really speaks well for his talent. His portrayal of the Barakai is truly remarkable, isn't it? Absolutely. There really is no doubt that he is the pioneer of the French Romantic School. Baudelaire, who? Just by standing in front of it, it's almost as if I'm at the July 1930s evolution myself. Bearing a stark resemblance to the Lady Liberty, I can attest. Cleopatra <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, really was an incredible woman, wasn't she? Truly, this expression really sheds light on her. Oh, definitely. All I really knew about her was through Shakespeare. Oh, the play? Yeah, that one. Never actually like, read that one. AP High School English class drilled it into me, quoted endlessly at the time. Though now, I really haven't a clue. You must remember one line. <laughs> Honestly, I can't. Not even one? I'm stumped. Something about her being beautiful? Oh, that's a given. Just like someone else. My name is Harry, by the way. I'm Heather. Hi. Hi. Do you come in here a lot? I try to. If I see a good exhibition I like, it's all around the corner from me, so it would be a waste not to. No way. Just around the corner from me, too. Fancy see him then, neighbor. <laughs> you weren't waiting for somebody when I came in, were you? No, just waiting. Sort of a sad occupation for a Friday night, isn't it? Waiting here, all by yourself? Do you think so? Well, what's a good-looking woman like you doing out alone on a Friday night? Trying to keep away from lies like that. No, listen, you weren't waiting for somebody when I came in, were you? No, just waiting. Sort of a sad occupation for a Friday night, isn't it? Sat here, all by yourself? I guess it is, in a way. What's a good-looking woman like you doing out alone on a Friday night? No offense, but... I'm out alone on a Friday night for the first time in a very long time. Oh. You see, I just recently ended the relationship. Oh. A rather long standing. I'm sorry. Well, listen, since reading about an exhibition is such a sad occupation for a Friday night, would you like to go elsewhere? No. Do something else? No thanks. I was headed to the movies in a while anyway. I don't think so. Cleopatra will be there tomorrow, you know? Thanks anyway. Okay. I appreciate the invitation. Sure thing. You weren't waiting for somebody when I came in, were you? No, just waiting. Sort of a sad occupation for a Friday night, isn't it? Raining here, all by yourself? I guess I was trying to think of it as existentially romantic, you know? Dark lit museum, reading about star plus lovers, lamenting and the last love. Well, we could see it for ourselves instead. Hop on the plane to Egypt or Rome. Walk the roads they used to walk. I'm a little short on playfair tonight. <laughs> Darn it, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> to tell the truth, I was headed to the movies after I finished this section. Would you like to come along since you can't locate Clark? That's a very nice offer, but... Uh-huh, girlfriend? Two of them actually, one of them is pregnant and Penny... Girlfriend? No, I don't have a girlfriend. Not if you mean that cash twitting bitch I caught cheating on me last week. Girlfriend? Sort of. Sort of. What's the sort of girlfriend? My mother. I just ended a relationship. Oh. Of rather long standing. I'm sorry to hear it. This is my first night out alone in a long time. I feel a little bit at the sea to tell you the truth. So you didn't stop to talk because you were a Muni or you had some weird political affiliation? Nope. Straight down the ticket Republican. Straight now, the ticket Democrat. Can I tell you something about politics? I like to think of myself as a citizen of the universe. Oh. 
I'm gonna say later. That's a relief, so am I. I want my beliefs. Labels are not important. Labels are not important, exactly. Take me for example. So, what does it matter if I had a 2 point at, 3 point at, 4 point at college, or if I did come from Pittsburgh, Cleveland, Westchester County? Sure. I believe that a man is what he is. A person is what he is. A person is what they are. I think so too. So what if I admire Trotsky? So what if I once had a total body liposuction? So what if I don't have a penis? Oh, shit. So what if I once spent a year at the Peace Corps? I was acting on my own convictions. Sure. You can't just hang the sign on a person. Absolutely. I'll bet you're a Scorpio. Listen, I was headed to the movies after I finished this section. Would you like to come along? That sounds like fun. What's playing? A couple of really early Woody Allen movies. Oh. You don't like Woody Allen? Sure, I like Woody Allen. But you are not crazy about Woody Allen? Those early ones kind of get on my nerves. Uh-huh. I was, I was thinking about... I'm sorry. No, go ahead. I was trying to say that I was headed to the movies in a little while and... So was I. The Woody Allen Festival? Just off the street. Do you like his early ones? I think anybody who doesn't ought to be run of the planet. How many times have you seen bananas? Eight times! Well, so you're still interested? Do you like Hentimus crumb cake? Last night, I went out at 2 in the morning to get one. Did you have an etch a sketch as a child? Yes. Do you like Brussels sprouts? I think they're disgusting. They are disgusting. Do you still believe in marriage? In spite of current sentiments against it? Yes. And children? Three of them. Two girls and a boy. Half our vests are grown. And will you love me? Yes. And cherish me forever? Yes. Do you still want to go to the movies? Sure thing. Okay, we are closing up in about 10 minutes. So with great pleasure, I appreciate if you make your way to exit. Thank you. Sure, sure thing. thing.